What's up? So this is a Subaru windshield that we just did in 70% ceramic. And I had a couple of questions from the live stream that I want to address in this video. Uh, first being, why would somebody want to go with a film that's this light? I mean, virtually clear windshield. What is the point? Um, and the next question, is ceramic any more difficult to shrink than regular tint? So let's go over the first thing. 70% uh, ceramic is an awesome choice. It gives you all the benefits of ceramic uh, without having to go dark. <laughs> it's really straightforward. So you don't really have to get worried uh, about getting a ticket for it because you can hardly even tell that it's on the windshield. And being that this is a Subaru, um, they have the eyesight system. So those are notoriously touchy um, and there's some tolerances there, but how far can you go before you start interfering with the system? I can't 100% say um, I always give the disclaimer of, you know, it, it ends up doing what it does, but the lighter you go, um, the, the safer you should be in a system like that. So we ended up going with a 70%. So he's got all the benefits of, you know, the insane amount of heat block that you get from a ceramic film. Uh, but without having to worry so much about messing with a system like that too, or, you know, potentially getting a ticket for something like this. Uh, so the next question, uh, does it shrink any harder uh, than a regular film. And honestly, no, this stuff shrinks amazing. So ceramics have come a long way. Uh, there's a lot of them that would feel very rubbery. They would shrink really slow. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was hard to shrink. It just meant that you had to put a lot more heat on it. It shrank slower. Um, you had to finesse the film a little bit more. You had to baby it a little bit more, but ultimately it seemed to go okay. So a full windshield like this, um, with like a more rubbery ceramic would maybe take me about like 10 to 12 minutes where, uh, this windshield, I mean, just look at the timestamp we knocked out in like four minutes. So really, really nice shrinking film here. Uh, so when you go to shrink a windshield in general, uh, just like any other back window, uh, this, this one had a very nice gradual curve to it. So it's really straightforward. Uh, we do some pull shrinking up here where I just kind of pinch the top, pull it straight, uh, hold the heat gun at like a 45 degree angle, about six ish inches away from the glass. And then the more heat that I need to put on any particular spot, um, I'll just get a little bit closer, um, especially on these edges as the more film that you shrink together, uh, the more heat that it takes to get that film to shrink down together. So it's kind of a subtle thing. Uh, I'll try and pick it up on a better angle, um, here in the future, but the, the closer you get to the edges, the closer with the heat gun that you're going to get just because more, like I said, needs to be shrunk together. But this was a really straightforward windshield to do. Um, I love knocking out these uh, windshields like this, especially like having a 70% windshield is just such a cool thing to have in the shop. Because when people, most people, when they get tint, they think dark. But with ceramic, we're starting to see a lot more people think differently with window tint. And once you've had ceramic, you, you never want to be without it anymore. Anything else that you drive or you're driven in, you can immediately feel the sun. It's a night and day difference. So it's just such a joy to end up doing this car. Uh, we did 70% on the full windshield, 35 on all the sides, and then we did 20% um, on the sunroof. So this one got pretty buttoned up. Uh, all the way around with ceramic. We have a full live stream on the channel too. So if you're interested in checking out the full process, please go over. Uh, video link will be in the description. And yeah, really, really straightforward. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, leave those in the comments. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.